colour again. 2,000 years ago, Pliny observed that there was always something new coming from Africa. During the Tudor period, as what was once known as the Dark Continent was opened up by exploration, this observation of Pliny's became something of a catchphrase among educated people. In the modern world, we are once again noticing that there always seems to be something new out of Africa. Not new in the sense of useful inventions or radical developments in medicine or chemistry, of course. None of us are waiting with bated breath for an African nation to discover a way to use controlled nuclear fusion to generate power, for instance, or for an African to announce a breakthrough in cancer research, or the formulation of uh, quantum theory of gravity, or anything of that kind. No, the new things which emerge from Africa are usually things that we could do very well without. Illegal immigrants from Africa are a relatively new thing, at least in huge numbers of them which are currently crossing the English Channel regularly, but the novelty is fast wearing off there. AIDS was another of those interesting new things which came from Africa, and there was a time when prudent people tended to avoid sex with anybody from Central or West Africa, because of course AIDS had its origin there. The latest new thing from Africa is monkeypox, and like AIDS, this seems to be associated with both Central Africa and homosexuality. The first case to be recorded in Britain was reported a few years ago, but this was an isolated instance. It was caught by a Nigerian while in his own country, and then imported here. Then, ten days ago, there was another case which was also contracted in Africa. Now there are seven confirmed cases and the latest victims have not been to Africa, so they must have caught it in this country. Three of these are homosexual men, which, combined with the African connection, has put many people in mind of AIDS. There are two practices which might be associated with the spreading of this disease. One is the eating of what is known as bush meat, African wildlife which has been caught for food. This can include things like monkeys and so on. There used to be a brisk trade in bits of dead monkey at Ridley Road Market in Hackney when I lived there, but I don't know if that's still going on. Some people fell ill through the practice. I observed that the NHS website is now warning against the practice of eating bush meat suggesting that it may well be a way for monkeypox to uh, spread. I may be wrong, but I have an idea that we are seeing the early stages of an epidemic. There have been seven confirmed cases in the last ten days. I said there were two practices which could be associated with spreading the disease. One is eating dead monkeys and other animals. The other is, of course, sex between men. Because of the nature of much sexual activity between men, such as sodomy, there's more chance of blood splashing about when two guys are in the sack than there is between a man and woman. Our bottoms are not really designed to have things stuck up them. And uh, if you do that regularly, you'll find that bleeding is not uncommon. And that's what happens when men get up to this kind of thing. It's one of the reasons that AIDS was more common among gay men, along with the fact that they tend to have more sexual partners than the average heterosexual. If monkeypox is spread by blood, as we are told, and it's now being caught by some gay men, I suspect it's going to spread like wildfire. This is perhaps the start of a new health scare. <laughs>